I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a heartline deer on a Zuni Pueblo pot. I'm going to take one finger right here in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. Curve line, curve line, straight line, curve line, and connect. I come over to the left, I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line out. Come over to the right, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line out. Come back to the left, we're going to continue that line down and stop. Come on the right, we're going to continue that line down and connect. I come right here inside and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line, curve line up, curve line down and leave it floating. Come back over here on this end and we're just going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, leave that floating. We come back to this line and we're just going to continue a curve line out, curve line in, straight diagonal down and leave it floating. Right about here we draw a baby circle and we put a dot inside. Okay right at this end. We're going to draw a straight line out, straight line up, straight diagonal, straight line down, diagonal, straight line up, straight line over, and connect. Now I come back up to this point and I'm just going to draw a curve line out, curve line up, curve line down, little curve line, curve line down, curve line up, and leave it floating. I come back over here on this section and I'm just going to draw curve line up, I mean straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, curve line over, and connect. I come back over to this side and I draw a straight line down and a triangle straight line down and a triangle, straight line down and a triangle. Right here at this point I draw a slightly curved line down and another triangle. Okay? I come back up here to the top and on this section I draw a curved line up, curved line down, connect, and on this side I draw a curved line up curve line down, curve line connect. I'm going to put one, two, three little curve lines, one, two little curve lines. Okay. If you have room, come up to the very top and we're going to draw a curve line out, up, connect. Hook it onto the next one. Curve line out, jump over, connect. Curve line out, curve line up, connect. Inside, one, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. If you have room, come over on this end and draw a curve line, curve line, curve line up. One, two, three curve lines. If you have room, come over on this side. Curve line up, down, curve line, one, two, three curve lines. If you have room, down at the bottom, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Right up here on the top, right here, let's just draw an oval. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color this part of my arrow. I'm going to color that in orange. Then with my black, I'm going to come around 
and draw it again. And now the whole entire deer is going to be black because this is a piece of pottery and what they did the uh, Native Americans is that they would only use colors that they found minerals in the ground and in their environment for color so most of their artwork is in black and white different colors of beige maybe a little bit of blue, maybe a little bit of red, but it's got to be what they have found in nature. So pretty much everything is a black and a uh, white kind of pattern and repeat. But because the heart line is so important, that's why they did it orange. Okay. Everything else you leave alone, pretty much. But what I did is they would use a buff color for clay, the clay body that they were drawing on, painting on. So I got one of my multicultural crayons and I just colored in around all the images. Okay? If you don't have a color, light colored crayon that you can use like this, don't worry about it, just leave it white. Pretty simple, but very important symbolically. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is the finished Zuni Pueblo Heartline Deer image on a pot. The heartline begins at the mouth where breath, breath gives life and points to the soul where faith and inner strength reside. Pretty good for a ceramic pot. Okay, bye-bye.